Good morning. I would like to welcome you all to this virtual worship service of the Redlands United Church of Christ. In this congregation, everyone, no matter what circumstances life has dealt them, is welcome. This is one of my favorite Sundays of the year, as it is Music Sunday. I've always loved singing and playing bells for Music Sunday, and I will confess that I've had to work a bit to wrap my head around the idea of a virtual version of this. However, no matter whether live or virtual, music has the power to heal us and bond us spiritually. Music is the voice of the soul. Music moves, it heals, it communicates, and today more than ever, we need this. In fact, Dr. Chris Macklin, a former professor of musicology at Mercer University and an authority on the history of plague music writes that music was not a luxury in times of epidemic uncertainty. It was a necessity. I believe this is still true today. During this modern time of epidemic uncertainty, music may be more valuable and more necessary than ever. So as we experience worship today through music, let it wash over you heal you, and help you to feel the spiritual bond that holds us all together. And now, please join Zoe Peterson in our opening hymn, number 561, when in our music, God is glorified. join me in the opening prayer. God, as we worship today on Music Sunday, help us to feel the music washing over our souls, healing us with its beauty, calming us with its magic, and strengthening us with its power and connection to you. Amen. Now Dan Abishana will lead the children's circle. Hey kids, I bet you're sitting on your couch watching the service just like me. Well, today we're going to have a little bit of physical activity as part of our church service. What I want you to do right now is take a walk over to your kitchen and get some pots and pans. Let's go. Come on, go to your kitchen. I find where the pots and pans are. They're probably in a cabinet, something like this. And I'm going to take this lid. Here. Two lids. Oh, that's good. Okay, now take your pots and pans. Let's go back to the couch.
All right, and now we're ready. We're gonna watch a video that my sister put together with her family about garbage trucks. And you're gonna need your pots and pans. You'll figure it out. Are you ready to sing a song about garbage trucks? Woo! <laughs> Are you ready? All right, let's turn the page and begin. trash out to the curb. That's right, today is garbage day. The neighbor's spins are all lined up. Garbage trucks are on their way. Saca la basura, aborde de la cera. Eso es, hoy es el día de la basura. Los botes de vecinos están todos alienados. A camion de basura and camions de apresura. Here comes the garbage truck. Rattle, crash, clang, bang, smash. Everybody wave hello. Thanks for picking up our trash. Aquí viene a camion de basura. Que traquete o que so much fun now there are essential workers doing stuff for us every single day of the week but in Redlands what we're doing at 7 o'clock on Sunday nights we're going and standing outside our front doors and we're making all kinds of noise just like we just did with that video to thank all those essential workers including the garbage truck workers but also the doctors and the nurses and all the people who work in the supermarket and everyone else who's working to keep our lives going during this time. So take your pots and pans, let's go set them by the front door so that at seven o'clock tonight, we're ready to go out and make a joyful noise. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, seven o'clock tonight. Don't forget. Bye bye. Good morning. Welcome to virtual worship and happy Pentecost. Thank you to our worship leader, the always eloquent Sandra Hodson. Thank you to Dan and his sister and family for a very fun children's circle. May we indeed beat on our pots and pans as we celebrate the essential workers during this season of COVID-19. Today is Pentecost. It is the birthday of the church, and I can think of no better way to celebrate the birthday of the church than through the gift of music. About a month ago, I asked our music staff, do you think that we could actually hold a virtual music Sunday? And without hesitation, with great enthusiasm, they said yes. So I want to thank our awesome music staff, our astounding choir, and our brilliant technology team for bringing virtual Monday Music Sunday to us. We are in for a treat. And now as we move to our announcements. In particular, I want to lift up that following worship today, we will hold our Zoom Fellowship Hour. On Wednesday, we will hold the Pastor Is In Gathering at noon. This Saturday, Barbie Fisk Phillips and Georgia Seforza will lead us in a sacred Saturday from 1 to 3 through Zoom. The theme is Connection. And a week from this Monday, on June 8th at 7 p.m., Bill Murray Holmes will lead a Bible study on the Book of Psalms. So please get involved as you are able to do so. I certainly want to thank the many gifts that you bring to this congregation, whether it be the gift of music, the gift of spoken word, the gift of prayer, the gift of pictures from the mystery artists, the gift of mask making, the the gift of gardening, the gift of words of encouragement, the gift of phone calls of compassion. I want to thank you for the wonderful gifts that you bring to this congregation. And I want to thank you for your financial gifts as well. And as a reminder, there are four ways to give. You can send a check into Redlands United Church of Christ. You can go to your Realm account and give. You can go to the website and click the Donate button. And you can text to give. Once again, thank you for the many ways that you give to this congregation. This church is blessed with a variety of gifts. And now, as we move to our prayer concerns, we hold in our prayers Anne Long, whose father passed from life to life this last week. We hold in our prayers Donna Herbig, whose son passed from life to life this last week. Donna and Anne, please know we send to you our deepest sympathy and we hold you in our hearts. We also Lift up in prayer Mary Lou Haney, who will be going in for eye surgery on Tuesday. And we lift up James, the brother of Connie Mitchell, who had a heart attack and is recovering from surgery. And we lift up Janet Wilson's 89-year-old aunt, who has been diagnosed with COVID-19. And we certainly lift up our country. This has been a very painful week, especially for our black and brown siblings. As a, another black man is once again killed by a white man. And we grieve the horrendous death of George 
Floyd. And we cry out for justice. We demand justice as we declare that black lives matter. And we say black lives matter because too often black persons are treated as though their lives do not matter. And so we boldly and unapologetically declare black lives matter. At this time, if you have a prayer concern, I invite you to lift up that concern silently or aloud, or note that prayer concern in the comments section below. Let us be a congregation at prayer, first entering into a time of silence. Holy Spirit, you are the breath of the universe. You are the healer of wounds. You are the wisdom of the ages. You are the renewer of strength. You are the builder of bridges. You are the witness to justice and you are the wellspring of life. And on this Pentecost Sunday, the birthday of the church, we give thanks for your Holy Spirit that felt falls on all people, men and women, young and old, gay and straight, black, brown, and white, your Holy Spirit falls on all people. And we pray that we may embody the radically inclusive church to which you call us to be, treating one another with dignity, respect, and equality. We pray for our country, a country that burns with the flames of anger, and we ask that you inflame within us a passion for justice. That we may know the cleansing of our own prejudice, racism, and fears. O oh, Holy Spirit, may we be the risk-taking, justice-seeking, bridge-building, Christ-loving, spirit-following church that you have called us to be. We pray all this in the radical love of the one who taught us to pray, praying our God in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our scripture lesson this morning is Psalm 100. All lands have been summoned to praise God, a psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness and come into the divine presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are God's people. We are the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the gates of God with thanksgiving and go into God's courts with praise. Give thanks to God. Bless God's name. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever and God's faithfulness to all generations. Plato wrote, Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life 
to everything. Music Sunday is a tradition here at RUCC. With all of us staying home, it has made us have to be very creative with the well of talent here at RUCC. It is no wonder that we are indeed able at this time to have Music Sunday. Being asked to be the director of music in this wonderful place where ideas are cherished and words are so carefully weighed is a true honor. Although some of the music you will hear were recorded live before COVID-19, we felt they were worthy of Music Sunday. Tiko Onatando is a South African song we did in tribute to Nelson Mandela during Black History Month. The Heavens Are Telling is a classic we did in January that I received a lot of good feedback from. The only way we can keep the music coming during this time is by recording virtually. These virtual recordings are keeping us connected. I am happy to say the choir has decided to continue to record during the summer. The choir that zooms together stays together. Thanks to the experts, Dan Abushanab and Loring Fisk Phillips for taking the time and leading us through. So music means to me at RUCC, love, caring, compassion, passion, togetherness, spirit, and joy. Most of all, music is a partnership of ideas with as little ego as possible. Thank you to the Covenant Choir and the Celebration Ringers for their dedication. I look forward to the day we are worshiping and rehearsing together in our sanctuary again. When I first began playing for RUCC, I constantly got stage fright right before a service. At that point, I hadn't played for a group of people for about two years, so I was out of practice. The stage fright didn't last too long. RUCC quickly became my home, and soon after my first few services, I counted down the days to our evening choir rehearsals and our Sunday services. Being able to make music with one another creates such a special bond. I truly feel like I have found lifelong friends through this congregation, and especially through our choir. Every laugh we've had together, every tear we've shed together, every celebration we've shared together, that's all brought us closer. What I love about making music here at RUCC is that regardless of what mood you're in before you walk into those doors, when the rehearsal is over or when the service is complete, we are always smiling and feeling much more uplifted. Making music isn't just about getting the right timbre, pitch, or rhythm. I've heard that music is a manifestation of someone's mind and heart. It allows one to feel, to time travel, and to connect. Our choir is a family, and who better than to feel, to time travel, and to connect with than your family. I'm the luckiest person in the world to have a weekly space I can share my music with. Thank you for giving that to me, RUCC.
of choir. I know this because I've been singing in a church choir on and off for the majority of my life. And I'll use any excuse to sing, the shower, driving, just about any time I'm alone, I'm more than willing to cover whatever's playing in my head or in the elevator or streaming in my house. But the real joy for me is not in singing alone. It's in being part of something bigger, something where you have to listen to each other, to be in harmony with each other, where you share beauty together. In choral singing, you get to play a small part amidst big harmonies. There are so many benefits to choir singing. First, there's the people. It's a special feeling to make music with others and build close choral friendships. This has been especially true in recent months as our choir has supported each other as we learn another way to make music together. There's the music itself. Our choir explores and experiences it all from musical theater to classical Latin liturgical pieces. There's the physical benefit of minding your posture, breathing correctly, of staying focused. It is, by the way, a great stress reliever. And there's the continuous learning you do every time you open a new piece of music. There's a special joy in learning as part of a team. Oh, and you get to see your audience respond to your music. You know, often I find myself moved by what we're singing. It's difficult to sing with a lump in your throat, but it can be done. I've always felt that as a soprano, I'm kind of cheating. We generally get the melody line, and that's not usually difficult. But then there are the altos, the tenors, the basses, and there's the richness. They deserve much of the choral music credit that sometimes only goes to the lilting sopranos. It's all of the voices that make it special. It seems to me that singing a part is like weaving a tapestry with you adding your own thread to the finished work. By the way, choir singing is humbling, but it's beauty on a grand scale. It's exhilarating, it's precious. And I'm grateful for Jim's patience and humor, for Sophia's absolutely amazing brilliance at the keyboard, for the love and dedication of my choral soulmates and for a church where music is worship and a vital part of who we are. Someone has said of choir singing, once you get past worrying about singing the right notes and counting, the magic begins and the magic truly happens in our choir.
Hi, my name is Mark Sternberg, and I am a member of the RUCC Choir. When I made a decision to join the choir, I did so for a few different reasons. The first reason was to become more connected with the church and the congregation. And another reason was to challenge myself in an area that I had no experience in, which was organized singing. What a blessing this has turned out to be in my life. I make music with an amazing group of people who give of themselves their time and talent. This experience has also allowed me to grow spiritually as a person because of the music we sing, the friendships we have in choir, and the act of giving on a weekly basis to the congregation. A surprise blessing is that this has turned out to be a sort of ministry for me. I believe that our talents are God-given. In this case, the music that we make is a way for us to take the spirit and light of God and give it to you through the sharing of our music. I hope that you get as much blessing from hearing our music as we do from making it. Thank you for being such a loving and welcoming congregation to our music ministry. think about what choir means to me, it's a chance to do one of my favorite things, which is sing with people. And so it, it's a pleasure, it's a delight, it's a blessing to be with my choir mates and hang out and make music together. But the other wonderful part about it is that we get to do it as a gift for all of you who we love and to be part of making worship happen. So there's that sort of synergy between doing something that I love to do for myself and doing something that I'm hoping is going to lift up the rest of you in this community that makes so much to me. So 
Yeah, so it's a joy. And I really miss being in choir in person. And it's kind of frustrating to have to do choir in a virtual way. But on the other hand, we're figuring things out and doing some new kinds of things and experimenting. And it's what really matters is that we're coming together and doing something for our community at church. So enjoy. Music and church, to me, go hand in hand. My grandfather and father were both choir directors, so I grew up surrounded by the singing of hymns and the integral part that music plays in a Sunday worship service. Music to me is God speaking. It's when I can feel God's presence the most. It's an experience of God's love. 
one of my first memories when I came to RUCC for the first time in 2002 was at the art show. There was a harp player providing music in Covenant Hall, and I thought, yes, this church gets the link between art and music and God. Don't our collective hearts swell when Steve plays his trumpet Easter morning? Rhymes with orange harmonize so beautifully. Laura and Sophia play a duet on the piano, or when we are blessed to have Sarah Anden play her flute. These are examples of music being a shared experience of God's joy. There is also such community in music, whether that community is trying to sing a piece or play a bell song or provide joy during feastings or contemplation during the Good Friday service or through pieces performed in a smaller ensemble. You see, before any performance of a piece of music, there's usually been rehearsals that have brought a lot of humor and laughter. That sense of community provides support when you're struggling through a rough section and understanding when things don't go as planned. And oh, the celebration when a performance comes together just right. That community also gives a place for the young musicians to play and perform, from Paul in the choir, to Reed in the bell choir, to Sylvia in the small ensemble that Andrea Marks puts together during special times. Yes, to me, God is speaking right there in the laughter of the rehearsals, and I can sense the presence of God through the success of a virtual music Sunday. And even now, I can feel God's love in the music community as we come together while apart to perform. So thank you to RUCC for giving God's voice through music in so many different ways to so many different people.
Let us give thanks with prayer. Dear God, we all have different ways of giving. Some of us are able to give monetary gifts to further the work of the church in your name. Some of us are, during this time, less able to give monetary gifts, but we can give the gift of music or the gift of helping others. Whatever the gifts we are able to offer God, we ask for your blessing upon them that they may be received where they are needed most. Amen. And now Zoe will lead us in the closing hymn, one of my favorites, number 476, My Life Flows On in Endless Song, or also known as How Can I Keep From Singing. After today's Music Sunday, how can I keep from singing? I am immensely grateful for all of those who created such a meaningful worship service and an astounding virtual Music Sunday. Thank you. There is no doubt that on this Pentecost Sunday, the Holy Spirit is on the move. The Holy Spirit is bursting with creativity not only in the form of music, but in the form of visual art as well. And we have more pictures drawn by our holy spirited mystery artist. And here are the pictures now. Welcome, Pam and Carrie, Mary and Larry, Denise and Diane. It is good to have you in worship today. 
And I certainly want to thank our fabulous mystery artist. And now as you leave from this place, with a leap in your step, with a song in your heart, with praise on your lips, may the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the nurturer, the renewer of strength, the healer of wounds, the builder of bridges, the witness of joy, bless you with abundant love, with healing peace, and with amazing grace. And may we remember, as the choir so beautifully sang, we are not alone. Alleluia and amen.